We've got uh, RBL Bank in focus next. Uh, it's looking to raise 1,211 crore rupees through the market via an IPO. It, you know, it's been a while since you had a private bank uh, go public, uh, perhaps uh, in excess of 10 years. Uh, you've got a price band of 224 to 225 for the issue. Uh, Vishwaveer Ahuja, Managing Director and CEO at RBL Bank, joining us on the phone line from Ahmedabad. Thank you very much for joining us. I think we're going to take this opportunity to let our viewers understand, uh, you know, the business at RBL. Uh, uh, would it be fair to say that the focus as it stands today is wholesale banking? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, good afternoon uh, to your viewers. Uh, the, no, the focus of the bank actually is uh, across the, the, the business spectrum. We are actually a full-service bank, uh, what is more commonly uh, spoken of as a universal bank. And therefore, we have all the, uh, the the various business segments, the wholesale, which is the corporate institutional bank, the commercial, which is the SME bank. In addition, we are a very active and a strategic player in the financial inclusion, development banking, and agri-financing space. And, of course, finally, we have the retail banking, you know, which is... In, in, in more common parlance, what is known as retail banking, which is more modern style retail lending across the various range of products. So all I want to say is that we, were, we are an end-to-end full-service institution. 60% uh, of our current uh, lending book is on the wholesale side, like you mentioned. Yes. Yeah, so, and 40% comes from the other segments. However, over time, you know, while all segments are growing handsomely, it is the non-wholesale portion that is growing faster. And therefore, the next three or four years, you should see the proportion of the two types of businesses come into more balance with each other. Okay. Again, sir, for the benefit of our viewers, if you could walk us through the most recent numbers. And again, I would put that, uh, that you know, that the growth has been very strong at uh, RBL, but the, perhaps uh, challenges for the profitability to keep pace with the growth? Yes, the if you take the bank what it was five years ago or more, I think we've come a long distance. Yeah, the bank has grown over the last five years from a very small base, a balance sheet base of less than two thousand crores. Today it is in excess of forty thousand crores, and the profit profitability of the bank has also grown in similar proportion. And if I may say, all other various parameters are also you know sort of working out in, in, in tandem or in, in, in consistent with this kind of growth. Even as we talk, you know, now that much of the investment program of the bank, you know, has been accomplished over the last few years, and the various business engines are now in place, and uh, each of them are now sort of building out and growing nicely, we expect that the revenue and the profit traction and the related momentum to also, you know, continue to sort of, come through, yeah, I would say in some senses, you know, even more handsomely. So uh, to answer your question, you know, so, and I, I mean, do I, would you, when March 16, you know, uh, which, which is the year that has gone by, we, we closed uh, at a balance sheet size of just under 40,000 crores and, uh, and, 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 and advances of approximately 22,000 crores. And uh, net profits after tax of uh, 293 crores. So that is how it was. Right. And in the current year, we continue to grow, you know, uh, very well. Um, so to what extent can you, um, you know, share your outlook on NIMs? Um, again, there's a fair bit of interest on that aspect. And, I, you know, I can understand uh, your hesitation to get too specific. But broadly speaking... No, uh, I'll answer that question. Our uh, NIMS historically, or even for the past year, have been a, a tad over 3%. And uh, uh, and our asset quality, which I should, you know, sort of talk in consonance, uh, in our gross NPA has been just at 1%, or maybe 0.99. You know, so the, the, uh, as we sort of continue to grow the business and the balance sheet, uh, I would expect... Like I said earlier, yeah, across the businesses, the revenue traction is in fact building up even more nicely because all of them are now contributing, all the various businesses. And much of the investments 
having been made already in the past year the 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 there is the expectation that the financial and operating leverage effect will in fact kick in even more strongly and whether it is mims or roas or roe all of them should see you know uh, further improvement you know in the current year and going beyond uh, and okay. having said that we expect to continue to keep a tight rein on 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 our asset quality and therefore you know uh, we 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 believe that uh, you know things will work out then okay it's uh, you know my job to put out there all the questions that investors could have and one which one calls out while looking at various analyst reviews uh, is that although there's you know the distribution has not been expanding uh very fast yet the cost ratios are pretty high how would you answer that no 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 on the contrary if you go back 5 years again the cost income ratios were in excess of 80% and it was also a bank which was starved of investment across the platform so if you take a situation where you know the bank was as small as 2000 crores in size and today is 40000 crores i mean and under invested in, in fact in every category whether it was technology was system control product service whatever it may be you know uh, risk management the point here is that we have through this period of time not only invested you know across the platform we have also if i may say generated you know uh, uh, the revenue from across the entire spectrum of banking services such that the Uh, the the operating leverage or the cost income ratio has come down steadily every year today past 16 it was little over 58% and right. again as i said little earlier trending down again yeah. every year right okay good to get that clarity so ipo proceed deployment what's the plan so uh, the, the 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 deployment of the ipo you mentioned earlier to the audience it was about 1200 and odd crores of which you know the new money is approximately 832 crores and you know uh, it takes our capital adequacy from the current 12.9% as of march 16 to little over 15% and uh, essentially it is going to be used to you know to grow the business and the balance sheet of the bank uh, again across all the various businesses vishwavi rahuja thank you very much for joining us this afternoon uh, here on ndt